morning, Mosaic Maestros. How are you doing out there? Um, I thought I'd pop by today and show you a little bit more about my Mosaic Bee Kit that you can buy on my website. Um, I'm going to talk to you about what you get in the box, but also give you a few ideas on what you could actually do with it once you've made it. Okay, so if you've never seen this before, this is my Mosaic Bee Kit. Um, it's got everything you need in the box to get you started. So if you're new to be um, new to making mosaics or you are a beginner, um, there's everything in there um, for what you need. Okay, so just so that you know what it looks like when you've made it. Here's one I made earlier. This is the bee. It's got um, iridescent tiles on the wings and then it's also got um, this sort of striking yellow and black body. So that is what you're going to make with um, my mosaic bee kit. So when you open the box, um, on the front of the box, you've got a, a picture of the bee um, a nice clear picture that you can follow um, as well as written instructions. So there's a pop of pink when you open the box as per normal with all my um, mosaic kits. And then you've got some written instructions. You've got written instructions on how to make your bee and then you've got another um, set of instructions on how to finish it off with the grout. So you get um, a little bottle of PVA glue and there's um, plenty of glue in that bottle for this project. You'll have um, glue left over so you can use it for other craft projects as well. You get a little glue spreader too so you can spread your glue really, really easily. And then it looks like I've got given you little bags of sweeties but actually this is what your, um, your tiles come in. You've got all the tiles, all the colours that you need. So you've got your white, you've got your yellow, and you've got your blacks in there as well. And what you'll notice is there's um, like a brown sort of gummed paper on the back of your tiles. What you're going to need to do with those is just pop it into um, some warm water, just in a mug or in your sink and that brown gum paper will come off really really easily and then you'll have your individual mosaic tiles to use for your um, your bee project you've also got um, some grout and for this project it's a black grout so um, you get provided with that you get a little sponge um, so that you can spread your grout really really easily you get a little uh, ribbon to hang up your bee once it's finished. And you also get the bee shape. And this is made out of MDF and my super, super supplier cuts um, these for me. Um, they're based on my drawing, so you can't get these um, shapes anywhere else. They're completely unique to Rachel Shilston Inspiring Creativity. So that's all the contents of your box. Everything you need is supplied for you. You've got, um, if where, it, where you've got pieces that need cutting, like the little tiny triangles to sort of define the wings of your bee, they've already been cut for you, so you don't need a tool. Um, it's all, all that sort of um, hard work and thinking has been done for you. So once you've made your bee, you've got a little piece of ribbon and you can hang it up in a window or off a shelf or just on the wall and it looks really really cheerful but I'm going to give you a couple of other ideas on how you might like to display your bee once it's finished so another simple idea would be to would be to put the bee in a um a frame so this is a box frame um because I decided to put this one in a bee, uh, in a in a frame, I've not um, left the hole where the ribbon would have gone. I've sort of grouted over the little hole um, on the bee so that you can't see that. And then I've stuck it in a little um, box frame. And you can pick these up for a couple of quid from places like Ikea or B&M. And it makes a really lovely piece of finished artwork for any room in your house. It looks really, really lovely. But another idea that you might like to try is once you've made your bee, 
you could stick it onto um, a shape. This is this is an MDF circle um, that I've painted black and then I've stuck my B onto the black circle and then with um, some paint, I've just written the words be, um, be kind. You could put be happy, be yourself, um, you know, whatever you want, um, a, a little play on words with the B. And then I've just attached a um, plate hanger to it so that I can hang it up on the wall in my studio and it looks really cheerful. So that's another way of displaying your B once it's finished. So it doesn't just have to be the B that you've made. Now, if you're feeling a little bit um, creative and a little bit confident about sort of switching up and changing up the B, you don't have to um, completely copy exactly um, the design that is in the box. You, there's freedom for you to sort of make it your own design. So if you um, have like a vintage plate um, that maybe has got a chip in it, you know, you might have it in, your, in the back of your cupboard. Or if you go and have a little look around a charity shop or um, car boot sale, um, a broken plate um, to replace where we've got the iridescent tiles for the wings just makes that look so much more different. So it's a really easy thing to do. If you've got a broken, if you've got a chipped plate or, or you go and buy a little plate from a charity shop, all you would need to do is put it into a carrier bag and then wrap a towel around it. And then with a hammer, you're just gonna do a couple of knocks on the plate, just enough to break it into pieces that are small enough to, um, to stick on your wings. You don't want to keep bashing it loads and loads of times because otherwise um, the plate will just smash into like little tiny shards. But a couple of controlled um, hits with a hammer will break that um, plate just enough so that you could replace the iridescent tiles um, and just change the, um, the design of that um, B. Another idea would be to um, use the little uh, letters um, like I've done on this one, um, I've just put be happy with the little letter beads and that completely changes it again. So you could put whatever words you want on there and just make your design unique to you. So, you know, it's you've got all the instructions. It's all laid out and, and um, you're given all the thinking, all the thinking's done for you. But there is room for you to sort of add your little twist and your little stamp on your B and make it completely personal for you. Um, I think that's it. Um, there's lots of other YouTube videos um, with ideas on how you can change up the kit and how you can display them. And um, yeah, so check out my other videos. Have a little look on my website at rachelshilston.co.uk. And of course, don't forget to follow me on social media, on Facebook and on Instagram. I hope that's really helped and I hope that's um, inspired your creativity. And I look forward to seeing what you get up to with those ideas. Bye for now.